Hello, I'm Juan Diaz, co-founder of Sones de Mexico Ensemble. And I want to give you a quick sampling of our programs. We have three main program areas. First, we have our concerts representing different folk Mexican music traditions. We also have a uh, cross-cultural experiment with the type of music that we would find here in Chicago with the blues, Irish, classical, jazz, folk, and even Chinese music. Second, we have our education programs, uh, both in a music school with group and private lessons, and also as outreach workshops and assemblies for schools. Third, we have our media division. This is a broad area where we have, uh, we put out our sound recordings, our CDs, uh, videos, web content, books, even a radio show. So let's take a look. I'll be including headings on this video, so feel free to move forward if you need to. You can also click on the links in the description. Since the group was founded in 1994, our talented multi-instrumentalist music ensemble has been our flagship program with a collection of over 80 musical instruments. Our concerts are our main vehicle for promoting the various regional styles of traditional Mexican music in their authentic forms. Living in a phenomenally multicultural city, rather than preserving our music by sheltering it away from other influences, the group has opted for cross-cultural collaborations, aiming to integrate Mexican music as part of a rich, intercultural American musical tapestry.
Education has always been at the core of our mission. We cannot promote this music without also, somehow, educating people about it. And we have been intentional about this. We have offered a menu of outreach programs, workshops, and assemblies for school districts, libraries, parks, cultural centers, and universities. In 2014, we opened our own music school where we provide curriculum-based, tuition-supported music instruction in Spanish. Now, this is a very specific, but also very needed niche in Chicago music education. In 2018, we added on-demand videos to supplement our classroom instruction. And in 2020, in response to the pandemic, we expanded to distance learning through Zoom, gaining some students from other states and even from Mexico. You've been waiting for them, and we're going to bring them up right now. Their newest CD is called Fandango on 18th Street, which is the main street running through the Mexican neighborhood here in Chicago. Great album, great music. Please welcome the Sonis de Mexico Ensemble. Media is a broad category. It includes our sound recordings. We have released six albums. One of them was nominated for two Grammys. We have also produced music videos. And concert films. We also performed an alternative music score for the 1932 film Que Viva Mexico by Russian pioneer filmmaker Sergei Einstein. Hola, ¿qué tal amigos? Les habla Juan Rivera, el Huasteco. We have produced a syndicated radio show and podcast in Spanish promoting the music that has inspired us. The show has aired in Chicago, Idaho, and even in Mexico. We published a music textbook to support our own class curriculum. And we produce content to make available as a resource on the web. promote the music, dance, and culture, not of a foreign country far away, 
but a large and growing sector in our community right here. Latinx have become the largest minority in Chicago. Largely Spanish speaking. Mostly Mexican. But this is not about Mexican music for Mexicans. In general, there's a universal need for all of us to learn more about the traditions of this underrepresented culture. And we work to make it accessible to all. And by the way, boom, 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 boom. We're also very interested in learning about everyone else's culture. Boom, 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 boom. And we encourage everyone to do the same. Boom, 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 boom. I like it like that. Our recent strategic planning revealed a trend in our trajectory. For the past 25 years, we've continued to add programs to our roster, but then lack the capacity to deliver them to as many people as could benefit from them. Because we can't sustain them for too long and still go on developing more. When we launch a new program, we have to stop the others because we can't do them all at once. So our output has remained about the same and our organization has remained in the same budget range for over 15 years. Our strategic plan calls for a need to increase our capacity to bring these programs to more people more often and use our artistic resources more effectively. Sometimes I feel like we're sitting on a gold mine with only one pick and one shovel. I hope we can count on your support to be able to move to the next level. So thank you for this opportunity.